I am a scout on my way to Rowland camp, somewhere around 42. I found a girl, Diana Aching. I wish I could trace that girl, but I can't. She was seated looking lonely and trying to talk to this girl. She didn't want to talk to me. So, you know, pushing. And I told her not to be scared since I had a scout uniform. And when I asked, I saw her walking away, I noted she had stained her skirt. That's when I was like, yeah, I understand. So I didn't have much on me, I couldn't do much, but I gave her 200 shillings and proceeded for the camp. The camp was running from Thursday to Sunday. When I left the campsite, I was thinking the words Diana told me, because Diana told me the mom asked her, ni pads ni chakunonulia ama ni chakula. You see? So it's something that disturbed me. So I called a few of my friends who were around seven and I told them what I was thinking, you know. People were telling me, you cannot just give somebody one pad. You're giving her this month. What happens next month? You see, like out as idea, how easy manage you get. So I was like, if I had those people who were telling me such things back then, and to be honest, I just get random calls. Mtu ananiambia hana pads. Mini student. Sina job. Unaona so sa zingine kani mai kata kushika call yako. Sa zingine nangalia anga ni namba mpya. Nitashika ananiambia sina pad na mimi mwenyewe sina. Unaona? So inakuwa ngumu. But I appreciate the people that have supported me. We sell t-shirts. The t-shirts and artwork. That's where we get the money for the pads. Are you, you, happy to see her losing her dignity because of shame, teasing, or being shut off from everyday activities due to period poverty? Schools have been closed. Yes, public schools where she gets free sanitary towel. Her mom, the only source of bread, is a hustler torn apart to decide whether food, rent, or sanitary towel for her salary has been shaken and in a mess this pandemic season. Kindly, you, yes, you, hold her hand, let's end period poverty and shame. Save her head from infections of using rugs. Donate a pad. Hashtag, he for she. Can't you see she's broken? Yet she's a woman. She's a girl. She's a sister. She's a friend. Yes, she is. An everlasting shoulder. Restore her dignity from all this pain. Fear of leaks. Infections, teen pregnancy, sexual abuse, in the name of sanitary towel. Stand tall, stand with her, make her an eagle when she flies. Hashtag, he for she, hashtag, end period poverty. Hashtag, be the change she desires, hashtag. There is hope. Thank you. And today on Inspirational Nation, I meet Nyat Gabi, a third year student at the Technical University of Kenya and Woos Encounter back in 2017 with a very needy girl made us start a non-profit organization called Her Flow, My Concern to address and fight period poverty and to ensure that these young girls are able to discover their full potential and realize their dreams without being held back by the needs of menstruation. Let's talk to her. Hi, my name is Gabi Nyet. I am a student, a menstrual activist. I am the founder and director of Haflo My Concern. Haflo My Concern is an initiative that is fighting period poverty in rural areas and slums to make sure every girl is able to discover their full potential and reach it without being held back by a menstrual need. I started Haflo My Concern after an encounter I had with a girl, one Diana Aching. That was in 
2017, February or 19th. I've been able to do it since we started to now with the help of my friends. So we have, we are artists, we are a group of artists. We draw and sell the artworks. And uh, from these artworks that we are selling, we are able to get cash. We also sell t-shirts. We've been able to run Have Low My Concern through the pieces of art we, we draw and sell and uh, the t-shirts we sell. We have a page where we sell t-shirts. I, I have an amazing team and from uh, the team we are working with, we have three artists. From the team we are working with, we have three artists. We are able to draw and go to a lot of exhibitions. To, so we generate the money from mostly the artwork and uh, the t-shirts we sell. So uh, in terms of support, uh, most of this comes from the artwork we do and uh, sometimes my mom comes in. But uh, this is the first event that we have done and had uh, partners like We One Action Network, Kwamboka, Nivea Dembra Models, uh, Sevaria Kenya, GW and Cry Not Anymore. So, it, for instance, the t-shirt business, you know, it's not every day that somebody is going to buy a t-shirt from you or the artwork. So this is not something that, you know, it's consist or consistent or we have that every time. Now, you, you see, for somebody like me, I'm not a citizen, so getting a job is, is something that is not on the list, you can see. So I have to work extra hard because also asking for people to come in, to me, I take it as forcing somebody. I would rather you just see it and you're like, yeah, this is something I want to do. You take part in it. But yeah, getting the funds is really hard for these parts. Because for an event, we went like Narok. We budgeted for 300 girls, but they turned out more than, so they were like 1,200. And the parts were not enough. So you could see it, it was really bad. Yeah. Our appeal would go to mostly the government. The, uh, I feel like, the sanitary towels are the things that should be made uh, free instead of the condoms they're giving out for free. I feel like if we come together and do this thing, we can be the next Scotland, you know. And uh, this is not just an appeal to the government of Kenya, this would also be an appeal to the government of South Sudan because South Sudanese feel like I am doing it in the wrong place, which I feel they are wrong because uh, humanity has no nationality. So anybody that is doing the same thing and would want to partner with us, we are open because the more girls we reach out to, the, the better, you know, because we will be reducing the chances of these girls dropping out in schools, getting pregnant, you know, yeah. Uh, so my name is Edna Tuey, uh, the CEO of Haflo My Concern. Uh, so basically, uh, we organize events depending on what we have. Uh, in terms of funding and some of the challenges that we face has have from my concern is reaching out to the potential partners that they can partner with us and our approach to partners is to make sure that we reach out to that girl who is not able to buy a sanitary towel. As a CEO you make communication to our partners and uh, we don't get replies maybe in good time and also as a CEO I'm engaged more in uh, buying the bulky sanitary pads and uh, soaps to give to the girls so my engagement has been a little bit on the, on the higher note so it needs more time on my side and also it needs sacrifice so most of the time you realize that I'll wake up maybe very early in the morning to make sure that everything is in order and uh, making and get Getting quotations from each and every entry to compare the prices of the of the sanitary pads has been my challenge. But I was able to maneuver out and make sure that I got the best uh, product to give to the girls. And the best product we got it from Chandaria Industries, and the pads were on a fair price, which was really good, and we managed to buy. Uh, Chandaria Industries uh, do their CSR programs, and they've been supporting the community-based organizations in each and every county. So we were not able to get support this time round because we submitted our letters later, in uh, one week before the event. So the challenge that we had is we did not reach out to Chandaria maybe one month before. If we would have reached out to Chandaria, we would have been given even 
on a better price and each pad was going to uh, at uh, costing around 33 shillings and if we had gone there earlier it could cost even lesser than that uh, what's your appeal to them now that in the next round when they'll be supporting other people? Uh, so um, I must say thanks to Chandaria First for giving us uh, these uh, pads uh, at a subsidized price. And my hope next time that we have any project within Kibra Slum or within the slum areas, that they come in as one of our partners and they support the program that we have. Because our goal as a flow my concern is to reach out to the girls who are not able to purchase the sanitary pad. Okay, thank you very much. So, as uh, the treasurer to have low my concern, uh, we are really trying because uh, when we started the idea, it was uh, mostly based in our own income, whereby I'm an artist, so I do part-time art. So we could sell the art and uh, we could get, uh, we could raise some money which we use to get the parts for the girls. So it becomes a challenge sometimes because uh, you know that uh, with art you can't do it anytime. It depends with the inspiration of the artist and it also depends with the availability of whoever wants to do the art. The fact that everybody is not interested in art, everybody is not uh, talented in art, that becomes the first challenge. So we would love to request uh, any uh, organization that feels that we are doing what is okay. They can chip in and uh, assist us and uh, availability of the pads. So once we have all the sanitary towels uh, available, then it's easiest for us to see what else can we do in terms of uh, transportation, how do we reach to the girls in different areas who are the ones that really need these sanitary towels and uh, then we can give the information and the mentorship to them.